Uh, on this anniversary, the Conservative Party have pledged to boost veteran benefits by offering extended tax breaks for those who employ veterans and also cutting the cost of rail travel for veterans. Um, I reported Jack Carson at the National Memorial Arboretum in Staffordshire, where I'm sure there's plenty going on today to mark this remarkable anniversary, Jack. But also, as I say, tied into all of that is the politics of the day as well. Yes, yeah, certainly. You know, it, politics doesn't doesn't stop. You know, and, and uh, these momentous uh, occasions, of course, um, in the middle of the election period that we are uh, as well, of course, uh, means that they will try uh, and make those those promises on uh, you know to prove um, their party's worth with um, with those people. Of course, those announcements um, today um, met, of course, with the services that are held um, both in Normandy here uh, and of course here in in the UK at the National Memorial Arboretum, where we've got the the um, 80th uh, anniversary uh, of the Royal British uh, of D-Day for, for, uh, run by the Royal British uh, Legion and preparations are underway here um, and we're joined by Anthony Metcalf who's the head of community engagement at the uh, Royal British Legion. Uh, Anthony just kind of um, tell us a little bit you know about about the service that we're going to see um, here today as part of the Royal British Legion's event. Yeah of course Jack I mean the RBL is really proud to be placing 26 uh, Normandy and D-Day veterans are the heart of what we are doing today. Uh, those individuals are from all the services, from the Army, Navy, the Royal Marines, the RAF and the Merchant Navy. I understand the youngest is around 97, the oldest is 104. So most importantly, we're placing those at the heart of what we are doing today. But today there will be a um, very moving service this afternoon uh, with all the usual elements of remembrance service. There's a lunch, a VIP lunch before that, uh, where they'll be hugely well looked after and meet our very special dignitaries and other guests today. But most importantly today is about recognising the sacrifice and service of that generation and placing those Normandy and D-Day veterans at the heart of everything that we are doing today, supported by the RBL. I mean, this, this is it, like you say, you know, we've talked a lot this morning that this might well be one of the final times that so many of these veterans are with us to attend um, these services. So how much, how important is it for you um, to be able to share their stories uh, today? Because, you know, you're head of community engagement, engaging with people of all ages. We've, of course, seen, seen the polls as well this week, haven't we, you know, around kind of how engaged younger people are with mm -hmm. actually what D-Day um, was. So how important is engaging all people of those ages? And I guess the veterans here today come in to that. Yes, the veterans are the heart of, of what we do and their stories are hugely important. Uh, you know, the, 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 the British Legion, we are the guardians of remembrance. It is our duty to make sure that the next generations understand the service and sacrifice of all those that served for armed forces and that of course includes those that fought in the First and Second World War, the D-Day veterans and the Normandy veterans. We have a huge amount of resources on our website that teachers and other school groups can use to educate themselves around those campaigns. There are huge events taking place across the nation, not just here at the RBL, not just in, 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 in the Arboretum, not just in, in Normandy. There's schools putting on events, there's community groups, there's our branches and our membership. So I think we all have a personal responsibility to make sure we understand what that generation went through 80 years ago and, and when they liberated Europe for the freedom that we all take for granted today. All right, Anthony, thank you so much for, for joining us uh, this morning as preparations do get underway here at the National Memorial Arboretum. But as you mentioned, Stephen, um, as well, you know, those big promises made today um, by the politicians uh, in light, of course, as well of the, of the big events across, across the country here and across, across the world as well. Yeah.